Why do they get to decide what happens in Alabama, in an Alabama coal mine? Just because they have billions of dollars? That's absurd. It's absurd. some good news come out for the first time in like a year and i mean the the whole strike i think this is actually this is genuinely the most material news that we've seen um and that is the statement from blackrock um which is the primary investor in um in warrior mac coal saying that uh that they believe that the strike should end which is a big deal. You get you get the you, you know the CEO of BlackRock coming down and, and and start putting some pressure on Warrior Met. You're gonna have some serious serious uh, stuff like that. That that's some serious pressure, and that um, I think as much as anything else, this is hopefully the beginning of the end for the strike. Um, they said in their statement that prolonged operational disruptions such as labor disputes can have a negative impact on a company's financial performance and business resilience. We believe it is in the best economic interest of our clients for Warrior Met Coal and the UMWA to reach a resolution. Not only that, though, not only are they calling now for a resolution to be reached uh, between Warrior Met and the UMWA, they call out some of the fi- uh, some of the financial decisions that the executive board of Warrior Met made. Listen to this: We don't believe key executives should be rewarded. When the company has been impacted by negative, negatively by the ongoing labor dispute and has related uh, and related fall in production, which has meant it has not been able to take advantage of favorable market conditions and maximize long-term value, this is investor speak for uh, you freaking dumbass. Why are you taking million-dollar bonuses while your production has been down? What are you doing, man? Because for the last year, steel has been steel has been um, more profitable than it has in the last decade or more. The price of steel has gone through the roof, and because of Warrior Met's obstinate obstinate negotiating with the UMWA, they have not been able to take full advantage of this opportunity. They have lost a potential billion dollars in revenue because of idled production, because they are only running at like something like 20-30% capacity. If they were running at 100% capacity, if they were increasing capacity because they were bringing more people into Warrior Met and therefore into the union... It could even be more than a billion dollars of revenue. But they lost out on a billion dollars of revenue, which would have not only gone to the workers, it would have also gone into the business. They could have invested it. Um, They could have, hell, they could have even given it to themselves. But instead of that, they have chosen a path of keeping these folks out of work for a whole year, and they're rewarding themselves with inordinate bonuses. The UMWA put out a statement on this saying when even the giant Wall Street firms that own your company say enough is enough, it's time to end the strike. The workers, families, and communities Warrior Met continues to hold hostage by needlessly prolonging this ordeal need to get back to a sense of normalcy, and the company needs to get back to full production with with an experienced workforce. Especially at this time of unprecedented coal prices, let's settle this now. And that's exact. I mean, that's exactly right. There's, you know, we were just talking with Yaffe about incentives. The capitalist incentive, if it was just profit, if it was just about profit, they would have given these folks what they wanted, and they would have given them more. Frankly, anything that it took to get them back in the mines. That's what they would have done. If they were only motivated by profit, that's what they would have done. But they're not only motivated by profit. Right, right. They're not only motivated by profit. They are also motivated by greed, and they are motivated by their Mm power-hungry 
uh, insistence that they have total dictatorial control over the people that they have in their employ. That those are other incentives that people don't like to talk about. Those are the other incentives, the other incentives that are at play that people don't want to talk about. Because it's clear, it's clear because of the price of coal, uh, because of what they're asking for. Now it would be one thing if their negotiating position was um, give us ownership of the company or we walk. Now that's a position that I would support. <laughs> that's you know I frankly the the idea of property rights in this country that uh, anybody who um, the, the, <laughs> the idea that that because you happen to own a because you happen to own the business is it gives you total right to continue owning the thing and continue profiting. It just doesn't make any sense to me. These people, they don't live in Alabama. They have never been in a coal mine. They, uh, they, they just sit up in New York trading stocks, in D.C. trading stocks, in Australia trading stocks. Why do they get to decide what happens in Alabama, in an Alabama coal mine? Just because they have billions of dollars? That's absurd. It's absurd. This is good news because maybe BlackRock is, is a little bit more purely motivated by profit and maybe the the people at warrior met have a little bit more of the greed and, and power stuff uh going on so um let's hope for a resolution in the near term you just saw a clip from the valley labor report we are live every saturday morning from 9 30 a.m till 12 30 p.m and we pride ourselves on keeping all of our content free to everybody so that we can talk to as many working folks as possible. If you support the work that we're doing, you think that it's important, you think that it's good, then consider making a monthly contribution to the project, and you can do that on our website, tvlr.fm.